Hey all, welcome back to another Need for Speed Heat build video. Today, I'm making something to trigger the overly sensitive purists. I'm going to be swapping a nice V8 into the R35 GTR. Uh, now, I've never been a huge fan of the R35, mainly the powertrain <laughs> and the looks of the car. In my eyes, the R35 doesn't sound much better than a straight piped 350Z. But, I suppose if you like that sort of thing, you're probably thinking, I'm unsubscribing to this foolish racing joker. Oh well. For those of you with adventurous souls who can handle a V8 GTR or a 2J RX-7, then welcome to the lab of the racing joker where we combine crazy things. So it sounds okay, but in my opinion, if the note of this engine was a little bit lower, almost Subaru boxer note, it would be so much better. Because this just is trumpet noise to me. And of course, the stock GTR is shooting flames out the exhaust. If only it were that easy to do that in real life. What's up? Silence, peasant. Okay, let's have a look at the engine swaps. Okay, so from what I can tell, the only V8s I can put in this car are a C7 Corvette engine or the 458 engine? I'm gonna go with the VET powertrain and max it out. I don't know if it's the perfect V8 sound for this car. My original inspiration for the engine swap was the Nismo GT1 R35 race car that had a racing version of the VK56 out of the Nissan Titan and a couple other cars. I thought it was really cool. Not 100% sure what I'm going for here. All of the wide body kits kind of suck and nothing looks OEM. All I've got are some nice wheels, a big wing, a front bumper and some headlights. Ooh, that's a neat color. Kind of reminds me of that, uh, uh, <laughs> that Sombra skin in Overwatch. Man, I haven't played Overwatch in forever. I'm gonna start with the NASCAR circuit just to see how the car performs in terms of top speed. <laughs> Are the purists dying of cringe and curling up into shrimp-like balls yet? I hope so. That was an okay launch. Does this keep the all-wheel drive even with the engine swap? Because an all-wheel drive GTR with a V8 would be pretty cool. It definitely isn't supercar fast, but it can kind of keep up. I'm gonna do something a little different today. Instead of testing this car with some races, instead I'm gonna do some time trials. Ooh, this is the one that happens on the monorail. I wonder how many times I'm gonna fall off. All right, will I be able to beat the time? No, at least not with that performance. All right, let's concentrate on doing this without falling off. This is really neat. I wonder if it's possible to get up here outside of this event. Whoa, don't fall off. I'm being super careful on the turns and I'm slowing down a ton. I'm risking the nitrous. A flamingo, but there's no time. We fly! Boom, and there we go. That's the time trial complete. We've got another over here that I want to try. Snap, crackle, pop. Why so serial? Let's see if I can wrangle the GTR and keep it under control. It's weird, but sometimes when I floor it, the car locks forward for a second. Other cars sometimes do that too. Gotta use the handbrake a little bit to competitively make these turns. It happened again. The car started going straight even though I was trying the turn. 
it's really not helpful. Whoa! He went off to the side a little bit there. What the? What did I even hit? I'm not sure I deserve that. All in all, I wasn't a massive fan of the R35 to begin with. The powertrain swap makes it a little better, but it doesn't handle very well in this game. It might take a bit of finessing to make this car competitive. Well, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Sorry it was a little shorter than normal. Next time, though, we're building my favorite V12 supercar, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you liked this video, then hit the like button and drop a comment down below about what you think of a VA swapped R35. Have a peruse through my channel, and if you like what you see, then definitely hit that subscribe button if you're a cool person, because you'll like what I've got planned. Tomorrow I'll be playing an older racing game, so stay tuned for that. If you want to join my supporter Discord, then head over to my Patreon where you'll get access to that, and where you can also earn shoutouts in the description, end credits of my videos, and can even get your name put on my real life project cars. But hey, that's enough from me. Take it easy and keep it crazy, everybody. I hope to see you all next time.